Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today I'm coming at you with another paid request. Uh, this time, once again, from Clarson, who wanted me to take a look at a topic. And I have the uh, the note here. We'll, we will get into this. The topic today uh, is, can you do a video discussion on the nostalgia tard argument? I ask you this because I'm sick and tired of people calling others nostalgia tards because they mostly prefer to watch or enjoy stuff from the past, whether it be from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, etc., and don't particularly care for anything modern, more specifically from the 2010s and now. What are your thoughts on this argument? Uh, do you think being super nostalgic is a bad thing, or should we appreciate more uh, of modern day entertainment? doesn't want or if or should we appreciate more or should we appreciate it more because modern day entertainment doesn't want to get better for me the way i see it i am super nostalgic too but i have also have praised some modern day entertainment whether they be from music movies gaming tv shows etc but i mostly prefer stuff from the past specifically from y2k uh, because of the lack of creativity in this generation. I don't hate everything today. I just demand for something better. And it really depends, really all depends, excuse me, on what you're into. Uh, very good, you know, very, uh, very good topic here because, uh, you know, this is something that we always talk about here on the channel. And I'm not going to jump into the regular spiel uh, again, it, we're just going to jump into this. If, if, if anyone wants to send in a paid request, you know where to do it down below in the description box. Send it in, and I'll get to it when I can. But, you know, this is something that we always talk about. And thank you, as always, you know, Clarson, for the paid request, just like everybody else. I appreciate you guys. But this is something that we always talk about, whether it's in a stream or it's long form like this. This is something that is always brought up. Um, you know, I know I call people retarded all the time because they're fucking stupid, but I've never heard of nostalgia hard. That's a new one on me. Um, you know, I, I didn't know what the hell that was until the paid request came in and I looked at the note. But. You know, it, it's it is a double edged sword. It really, truly is a double edged sword because, you know, am I a super nostalgic person? No, because I do think that is a problem. Um, I don't live in the past. I know what people are probably thinking. You have all this. Clearly, you do. No, uh, I don't live in the past. This is all entertainment. Okay, and at the end of the day. Different strokes for different folks. Everyone has a different opinion. Everyone looks at things differently. Everyone has different tastes. And just because I like, you know, Are You Afraid of the Dark and Three Ninjas doesn't mean I'm a nostalgic person. It just means that that is the entertainment that I enjoy. Is a lot of this stuff from my childhood? Yes. Um, did I like it as a kid? Yes. Do I like it now as an adult? Yes. But does that mean I'm a nostalgia hard? No, it just means that that is what I prefer, that is what I like, that is what entertains me. There's nothing nostalgic about that. It's preference. Um, but, you know, again, it is a double-edged sword because if you go to the other side of the sword where people are super nostalgic and they still think it's the 90s and they still live in the 90s and all their life is about is the 90s or the 80s or whatever then yeah that is a problem at least in my opinion because you know you shouldn't live in the past you should live in the now which is what i do i live in the now um but you know it is a double-edged sword because you know people misinterpret things and people take things out of context like they always do because you know they're fucking weirdos and it is what it is, but I choose to ignore those people. But again, there's nothing wrong with liking something that's older. You know, again, clearly, you know, I have a uh, affinity for certain things. But there is a problem with taking it too far. And a lot of people take it too far. And a lot of people, again, live in kind of that bubble world where, 
oh, all about the 90s. It's the 90s. It's the 80s. It's the 70s. Bah, 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 bah. And that is a problem because there is good stuff coming out today. I just reviewed Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick was a, a good movie. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think it's the best movie to come out this year. Do I think it's better than the original film? No, I don't. But it was a good, worthy sequel. I reviewed The Batman a couple of months ago. I was pleasantly surprised by that. I really enjoyed that. I think it's the, the runner-up for best movie of the year. Um, other stuff I enjoyed this year, Day Shift was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that movie. I really, my favorite movie of the year would be Beavis and Butthead Do the Universe because I'm a big fan of the characters. I thought it was well done. You know, it was well written and that's how it should work in my opinion. But there's also a lot of shit that came out this year. Halloween Kills, in my opinion, was the worst movie of the year. Um, you know, even, even if you want to talk about original movies, they slash them was fucking garbage. Men was fucking garbage. Uh, so it is what it is. And you know what? A lot of garbage came out in the 80s, in the 90s, in the 70s, in the early 2000s. Uh, Battlefield Earth came out in 2000. One of the worst fucking movies ever made. So there you go. So it's not that the stuff that comes out today all sucks. Everything that came out back then was good. No, because shitty things came out 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Shitty things come out now. Shitty things are going to come out 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 40 years from now. So, yeah, it is what it is. It's called balance. Not everything can be good and not everything can be bad. That's how it works. But the argument of, like he said, you know, you just don't want to see anything new. And, of course, all these fucking losers and trolls and shit that come on here, they got nothing better to do than, you know, finger pop their asshole and listen to me bitch or praise whatever. You just don't like anything new. I just named four movies that came out this year that I really enjoyed. So there's that. Um, you know, it is what it is. And I've named two shitty movies that, actually, correction, I named three shitty movies that came out this year. So there's that. But the whole argument of you know, you live in the past. Everything that comes out now you think is garbage. The only reason why you like it is because it's old. It's so fucking pale and it's vanilla and it's a straw man argument and it's paint by numbers and it's stupid. And that means that you won the argument because that is the lowest common denominator saying that. The problem now today is the fact that they don't fucking try. Um, because when we live in the year 2022 and we've had what the 13th Halloween film, right? Cause you had the eight original ones, which were the good ones. And then you had the two Rob zombie ones that brings the total up to 10. And then you had three more. So 13. So again, when we live in the year 2022 and we've had the 13th Halloween film, don't you think it's a problem? I do. And the David Gordon Green, Blumpkin House Trilogy, all those movies suck. Halloween Kills was the worst. And again, we live in the year 2022. We had Scream 5 come out. Scream 6 is about to come out. Don't you think that's a problem? I happen to think it is. The problem is now they don't fucking try. And again, I mentioned movies I liked. Not every movie, they didn't try. But most of it, they don't try. Because it is generic. It is unoriginal. It is uninspired. It is bland. It is pale. It is vanilla. It is paint by numbers. It is boring. Because again, when we have 13 Halloween movies and six screen movies and 842 Marvel movies because one comes out every fucking month, you don't think that's a problem? I certainly think it is. When you have another remake and another sequel and another reboot and another reimagining and then now legacy sequel, that's the cool hipster term. You know, when you have all that, you don't think that's a problem? You don't think that maybe people don't want to see that? You know, just me. The reason why Top Gun Maverick worked, I don't know why I had a little accent there. Top Gun, I'm Irish now, talking about Top Gun with fucking Maverick. 
Anyway, that was, well, that was more Scottish. My, my apologies. Wrong-ish. Anyway, <laughs> same corporation, different department. The reason why Top Gun Maverick, I did it again. The reason why Top Gun Maverick worked is because it was a good story. It was entertaining. It was fun. It didn't have, you know, 400, you know, minutes of CGI. It wasn't a four and a half hour movie. Two hours and 10 minutes. You take out the credits a little bit over two hours. You know, it is what it is. But it was entertainment. And that worked because Tom Cruise knows what people want to see. And, you know, personal life, yeah, he's a fucking lunatic. We all know this. But when it comes to the professional life, when it comes to his job, he knows what people want to see. He knows how to make movies. That's why it was the highest grossing movie of the year. That's why it made a billion fucking dollars. That's why it's still in theaters playing. Because people want to be entertained. Um, and that's why it worked. Other movies don't work, like Halloween Kills and all this other shit, because there's the political context, the fact that, you know, you ignored all the sequels that people liked, the fact that you say, well, this is the real Halloween 3, this is not like the other Halloween 3, and you had a shitty fucking script, you had a shitty ending, you treated the character that people loved for decades, Michael Myers, like dog shit. Um, maybe that's why people didn't like it. Maybe that's why after opening weekend, no one went and saw the fucking movie. Could that be it? I think maybe. Again, when you have Scream 5, where, you know, he had a daughter out of nowhere, and this happened, and that happened, and then you kill off the characters that you love, uh, don't you think people don't want to fucking see that? Because Scream 5 was such a great movie that no one's talking about it, but it made a shit ton of money because it had Scream in the title, and now they're making another one because that's what people want to see. Again, why is there a, a sixth fucking Scream film? There should have only been two, in my opinion. And when you have countless fucking Star Wars movies where you kill off all the characters that people love, and you have all these new shitty characters that nobody likes. Maybe that's why people stop watching them. When you have 800 Marvel films where they're all the same. A villain wants to destroy the world. So they have to get together. Whether it's by themselves or with other characters. Don't you think people are tired of seeing that? So when it's the same shit over and over again. And it's the same movie. You just swap out the character. There you go. And that's what I've been talking about. Every movie since Iron Man, you know, every action film, every superhero film copies that motif because they, well, it worked for them, so it'll work for us. It's not how it works. But that's your competition, and I get it. But I know I'm going all over the place with this. But again, it's a double-edged sword because you can like older stuff, clearly, but you can take it too far. Um, you know, Again, the straw man argument of you just like everything that's old. No, I clearly named movies this year that I've liked. I clearly, last year, named movies that I liked. In 2020, I named movies that I liked. So, I don't know what the problem is. Again, people just, as you all know, I know the majority of you are intelligent people. And you get it, like I do. Um, people just hear what the fuck they want to hear because they're fucking losers and it's all about them and that's the narcissism that comes in there. Um, but let me take a peek at this. I want to make sure, you know, we're staying on topic here. Sick and tired of people calling others nostalgia tards. They mostly prefer to watch or enjoy stuff from the past. So with that, I get where you're coming from. We've all experienced that. I'm not on cocaine. It's just cold and I'm stuffed up. Um, I get where you're coming from with that. I really do. I think all of us do. It's preference. Again, why do I prefer older movies? Because they actually were entertaining, unlike the shit that comes out now, where, again, everything is a political message, and if you're white, you're evil, and if you're white, you're the devil, and if you're white, you're racist, and if you're white, you're bigoted, and if you're white, you're phobic, and if you're white, you're an ist, and if you're white, you're no good. So, don't you think people are tired of that with all the movies that have been coming out the past several years? Don't you think people are tired of uh, 
people tokenizing all the characters. Well, we should have Black Superman. Why? Superman is a historically white character. It doesn't matter. We need Black Superman. Why? We need Black Little Mermaid. Why? Because we need it. No, you don't. This character needs to be gay. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Why? Because some fucking blue-haired, blue checkmark weirdo on Twitter that can't read and doesn't have a job and doesn't buy comic books said so. No. Yes! No. And they do it, and it failed, and no one fucking read it. So there you go. So people are tired of that. Again, people are tired of the tokenization, whether it's a race swap, a gender swap, their sexual orientation, because for whatever fucking reason, these crackheads are obsessed with that. I have never uh, read Spider-Man and thought, you know what? Spider-Man would be gay in real life. Or you know what? Superman would definitely take it up the ass. Uh, people don't fucking care about that. I certainly don't care about that. I've never cared about the sexual orientation of fucking Spawn, and I'm sure that 99% of you don't care about that either. So people are tired of that. But back in the day, they didn't do that. They made movies. They made TV shows. They made cartoons. I got Ninja Turtles on in the background, the original. Uh, they wrote comic books. They created music, and it was pure, and it was original, and it was entertainment, unlike the shit now where it's how much money can we make on opening weekend, and we can greenlight the sequel immediately. That's what they care about. And... All the writing is mediocre because the people that are the writers don't know how to write. They just got hired because they put their fucking pronouns in their bio because they're a weirdo and they like to suck dick and take it up the ass and drink Starbucks. That's why they get hired. Um, case in point, professional wrestling. Why does professional wrestling have a writing team is beyond me. Anyway, let's move on from that. So I know I kind of bounced all over the place, but the point that I was trying to make is Back in the day, they cared about entertainment. It was about working hard. It, and that's the other thing. These people have no work ethic. It definitely shows when you watch these movies and they're all paid by numbers. Uh, people cared about the craft that they were doing, whether it was the actors in front of the camera or the crew behind the camera. All right, we got to get these lights right. We got to get this right. We got to get that right because we don't want to reshoot it. It's got to be fucking perfect. We don't have time to waste. Now they don't care. Now it's just all... Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's set. It's set. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. And trust me, I know because I've worked in environments where this is exactly what people do. All they want to do is sit on their fucking phone all day and get on Twitter and Tinder and whatever starts with the T because for whatever reason, all this weird shit starts with T. I don't know how that works, but apparently it does. And then something's fucked up, and then we got to redo it, and then you can't yell at them, you can't fire them because they drink soy milk, and they'll get pissed, and they'll file a fucking lawsuit because they didn't do their goddamn job. I know, it's weird. It doesn't make any sense to me either. So I pre that's something that never nobody ever brings up, is the work ethic was a lot better 20, 30, 40 years ago because people actually gave a shit about their job, unlike now. Because you look at movies now, and they're horribly lit, they're horribly edited. They're just horrible. And you wonder why. Because everybody's doing this. Oh, look at that. She looks good, doesn't she? Yeah, I'm a messenger. That's all people care about. So there you go. Um... What are your thoughts on the argument? I think we covered that. Do you think being super nostalgic is a bad thing? Yes, I do. Or should we appreciate more of modern day entertainment? I don't appreciate more of modern day entertainment because the cycle never fucking ends. Like I keep saying, it's remake after remake after remake. It's sequel after sequel after sequel. It's reboot after reboot after reboot. It's reimagining after reimagining after reimagining. It's spinoffs. It's legacy sequels. It's TV shows. It's an animated TV show, but it's CG, but it's mixed with live action, so it's kind of cool, but it's not. When it's the same shit over and over and over again, year in and year out, why, do you, why should I get excited? Why should I care? 
why should I show an interest in the third remake of Fantastic Four? Why should I show interest in the 17th version of Superman? Why should I show interest in another fucking Halloween movie? When it's the same shit over and over and over again. That's why people don't care because people are tired of it. But the problem is that people bitch about being tired of it, but yet they still support this stuff. The only way that it's going to stop is if you stop paying money for this. Because that's all these people care about. First of all, they all hate you. Disney hates you. Sony hates you. All these companies hate you and your way of life. And all they care about is your fucking money. So, you know how you stop that? You stop giving them money, folks. I know that's probably a very bitter pill for some of you to swallow. And I'm not trying to make fun of you guys. I'm not trying to belittle you guys. I'm not trying to insult your intelligence. But the only way that it's going to stop is if you stop giving these people money. Stop paying for this shit. Stop buying their products. Stop going to Target and Walmart because they hate you too. I know it's difficult, but that's how you win. That is how you win the culture war. And the other thing is, I know what some people are probably thinking. You're inconsistent. If you go back to 2011 when I started here on YouTube till now, I'm like this. My opinion has 99% of the time stayed exactly the fucking same. I was bitching about this shit 10 years ago. I was bitching about this shit five years ago. I was bitching about this shit six months ago. And guess what? Six from six. I'm so excited. I can't get the words out. Six from six months from now, I'll still bitch about it. A year later, I'll still bitch about it. Five years later, I'll still bitch about it. Ten years later, I'll still bitch about it. There you go. Nothing changes. So I'm going to keep bitching about it. Until it changes, I'm going to keep bitching. But it won't change, because we know how it works. And I definitely need a little bit of the water, because I'm losing my fucking voice and I'm losing my mind. Um, I just demand for something to be better. I agree. Just try harder. Make it better. Stop being fucking complacent. Stop being lazy. Why don't you try to do something different. It's really hard to do something original because everything has been done um you know at this point, but just try, get creative, do something different. When you go let when everyone goes left, you go right. When someone goes straight, you go backwards. Do something different. Just try. But they don't want to do that because they appeal to the lowest common denominator. They appeal to everyone that's going to pay all this money for no reason to keep seeing the same shit. And that's it. It's not complicated. If you want something different, try. And you know what? You know how you also fix this? You got to get involved. I got to get involved. We all have to get involved. We have to create our own stuff. That's how you also win. Create alternatives. I know a lot of you are probably very creative people. I know a lot of you probably write or draw or do something. You know you know what's really cool? When you get paid to do that. And trust me, there now in 2022, there's a lot of platforms to do that. This is not in the 80s. This is not in the 90s where you have to go to LA or New York. You can do it right from your living room. You could do it right from your house, just like I do every day. And you can make money. And you're creativity, your art, your work, your love will be seen because it's a different ball game now. It's a different world now. But you got to be willing to put the work in and you got to be willing to make the sacrifices just like any other thing to get it out there. But it will be seen and you can do it. And that's how you truly win when you create an alternative. Again, I give you the keys, you're driving the car, you can take the car where it needs to go. It's not complicated. So there you go. A little bit of motivation there, I guess. Anyway, I hope, Clarson, that I hit all the questions that you asked. <laughs> I hope that everyone enjoyed this video. As always, you know, I love to hear your guys' thoughts on whatever, whether it's this topic or a movie review, whatever it is. You know, I love what you guys have to bring to the table. That's why I do this because it's fun and it gets people engaged. I don't do this 
for I don't do this for my health. I don't do this because I'm bored. I do this to have fun. And I'm going to keep having fun. So there you go. Because I love having fun. Anyway, take care, guys. We got one more paid. Actually, a couple more paid requests. One is a stream. So I'll let you guys know when that's going to happen. That'll probably be the next couple of days here. Um, we'll take, uh, we'll, we'll set that up later, but I do have another one coming up and then we'll be all caught up. So until then, as always, you guys know the drill, take care, have a good one, and we'll talk to you soon. Later.